Today, we're gonna to review an ultra long range electric bike. This thing can do 80 miles on throttle only or 120 miles on pedal assist. It's called the Iahora Juliet. Bro, are you kidding me? What are the chances? And it is a super interesting bike for 1900 bucks. Although I do have a discount code linked below the video in the description box, but don't buy this bike just yet. Let's take this thing out for a review and see if it's any good. Ah, goodies. The size of that charger is gonna be very important. And it is full suspension, adjustable rear suspension, two shocks. I got the green one, but you can get this bike in a couple different colors. Just check the link below the video. It's a tough box. Looks like the motor's branded Iahora. See that? So check it out. The reason I got the Juliet instead of the Romeo. Dang, this is the widest seat I've ever seen on a bike being shipped to me, I think. The reason is though, it's a normal seat post on the Juliet as compared to the Romeo. The Romeo is like this bench style thing. So on this bike, you can swap the seat out and it's also an adjustable height. So if you like wanna pedal on the Juliet, that'll be much more you know, comfortable because you can adjust the seat to your height. But also, you could throw a suspension seat post on there. So in case this suspension sucks, I don't know, we'll find out. You can do something about it. It's got hydraulic disc brakes with Z-Star calipers. Close to a color match here. And the rotors are 180 millimeters. They're drilled. Here's the numbers on the 1000 watt rear hub motor. We can see it does say 1000 watts. We'll take a closer look at that in a few. But probably the most significant thing about this bike is the battery. Iahora Juliet. My goodness. It's a big one. So this 60 amp hour battery pack does have the battery mounted up here on the front. One other 60 amp hour battery pack I reviewed did have the battery up here. Puts a lot of weight on that front suspension. An yeah. Another, yeah. Another one I reviewed had the battery back here. The deep work. Yeah. Did I hear it right? You did. Fast than it does. So when you have a battery pack this huge, it really does make a significant difference where it's mounted on the bike. We'll see what it's like. So front suspension on this bike is Ihora. Is it any good? We shall see. And another big battery pack e-bike I reviewed had similar 20 inch by four inch wide fat tires with knobby tread pattern. Brakes were a little bit different, but I did have some problems with the other one, with the tire seating on the rim and it being like a perfectly round circle. Hopefully these CST tires are a little bit better. This electric bicycle comes with plastic fenders and some red anodized accents up here. You get a preload on the left, which is normal, and another preload on the right. We'll check that out. It is a dual crown fork. The seat is easily adjustable, and it is a 33.9 millimeter seat post, in case you're looking at a suspension seat post. And if you buy this bike, everybody is gonna know you're riding an Iahora. Comes with a rack on the back, it says max weight of 30 kg, and the light on the rear is wired in to the battery. We'll look at those gears in a minute, but let's get this battery out. So you put the key in on this side. Woo. Enjoying your life. How charged is it when they ship it? Looks like it's showing two out of three, and this thing is insanely big. Here's where you plug it into the bike. Oh my goodness. And here is the model numbers. 48 volt, 60,000 milliamp hours. So 60 amp hours. Comes out to 2,880 watt hours. Huge, huge, huge range. A lot of times a big battery is considered 20 amp hours. It's like 3X that, exactly 3X that. And it says to lay it flat, not vertical. So the charger, gosh darn it, I cut myself. Well, I guess pedals, typical stuff. Oh no, five amp charger. Dude, this is a beefy charger. It's like an aluminum, uh, has the heat fins to help dissipate the heat, but it is a five amp charger. I mean, this will help you conserve the life of your battery, but 60 amp hours divided by five amps, that's a 12 hour charge time from empty. Dang. Slow charging your battery is good for life cycles and battery life, but not for people who are impatient. And here's the headlight. Looks pretty Dyson. And honestly, on a bike that weighs this much, pedals are mostly for show. I mean, you can get some exercise, but 116 pounds doesn't really, you're not really going to extend your range too much. I'm going to fight with the Juliet. Front wheel uses normal bolts. Okay, this is a little confusing, but this is how it should look when you're done. Handlebars on, let's take a look at them. Got a nice little rise. Sweet back just a little bit. Should be a comfy riding position. Pretty cheap ergonomic style hand grips. Z-Star hydraulic levers, seem fine. Controls, looks like high beam, low beam signals and horn. We'll try that when we turn it on. Display and seven speed shifter. And the all important twist throttle. It is a quarter twist throttle. It's got the dual crown fork. Has its benefits, but uh, it'll limit how far you can turn the wheel. It's got seven Shimano gears on the rear cassette and a basic turny derailleur. Tires call for 30 PSI. I wonder if you could see the tire change size. 
Dang, that was a lot of air. Kind of cool that they marked the bolts for you so you can look at this and see if it ever loosens up. This is the first e-bike I've seen like this since my Saron. Let's do a quick little weigh-in. 27.8 pounds. So yeah, that, that, that's a big battery. Now let's get to enjoying your life. Let's remove this film and power it on. It is a color display. We get a battery indicator in terms of bars. Four out of five right now. Tab on through. Looks like we have trip, odometer, max speed, average speed, and amp. Amps output of the battery. So this is like a power indicator. Volts times amps is power. So we do get a dedicated headlight button here. Check it out. It's got a low beam and a high beam. So it looks like the low beam is just this. And then the high beam. Lights up the outer ring. Low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam. But we also have turn signals, and there's not any turn signals on the front. What about the back? So the back does have turn signals. Left signal, and is it a brake light? Yes. When I pull the lever, it lights up. And let's give this horn a try, see if it's loud. Ah! Meep, 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 meep. That's so loud. It's kind of cute. I'll drop the seat on the minimum height first. Step through frame makes it easy to get on. Can immediately feel the weight of that battery. So here's the riding position on minimum seat height. Handlebars feel like natural for, you know, seat on minimum height. Like, so suspension adjustments. I don't know if they're really adjustable or what. Oh, forgot to tighten the handlebars down. Let's throw the seat on max height. Why not put the pedals on all the way either? <laughs> so this would be the riding position. Um, definitely will put you a little forward on the handlebars with seat on max height. And I'm six foot five, in scene 34. Here's the leg extension I get with seat on max height. And here's how the suspension is set out of the box. Looks like it's kind of extended all the way out. So it is adjustable. Let's see how it feels on the ride. We're gonna get straight into it today. I can't promise 100 miles, but we're gonna go for a long ride. I'm gonna bring some money. This thing is on a full charge. And one thing about the Ehora 60 amp hour battery pack I really like is this has a integrated USB port. So I can be 100% certain our phone will stay charged for the whole ride. And of course we will be tracking our official distance on Strava. I'm gonna wrap this five amp charger up in a towel and we'll bring it along just in case we need it. Real quick before we go, I just wanna check the voltage on this battery. Ooh, 54.9, very nice. A little bit high for a 48 volt battery. And this is gonna drive me crazy. As I always say in the comments, hairspray will do it. And this is the very first time I'm riding this bike. Oh, nice. Guitar. So the very first thing we will do is the 20% grade on the Juliet. And we have it on pedal assist five, full throttle, ready to go. Decent little torque off the line. And it's kind of reducing our power. Let's not burn up the motor just yet. Let's save that for the Hollywood Hill. So it is a very heavy bike, 116 pounds. We'll get a bit of a roll out here, full throttle, no pedaling at all, pedal assist five and it's pulling us up to 20% grade with a bit of a rollout. All right, let's try this pedaling just a little bit from a stop here. Uh, pedal assist five, let's give it a little bit of help. And yeah, I mean, this motor's, it's strong enough. Like, it's good. So I do have the seat on like the lowest setting because uh, it just feels like natural and comfortable for like the handlebar height. The seat height in relation to the handlebars for comfort, like pedaling this thing, I'm probably not gonna be doing much pedaling today. Yeah, we're gonna do mostly throttle. Any pedaling I do is gonna be very minimal. Dang, so right away, dude, this thing's showing 34 up here on the dash and I can actually read it. So the last 60 amp hour battery pack I rode, uh, we did 90 miles before it died. Well, dude, we might be having a problem here. We're screwed, man. I don't know if you can find a charger, man. This one is going to be very similar spec. The interesting thing will be is like, is the motor gonna break down on us when we get out to the Hollywood sign? Because we are headed that direction. We're gonna go the dicey way to downtown and then the Hollywood sign. Hey, Scooter just chilling here. What the heck? Oh gosh. All right, let's give it a quick little zero to top speed run. Ready to go. 15, 20, 25, 28, 29, 30. We're going uphill now. Is this speedometer reading out accurate? The GPS will always lag a little bit. GPS is showing 20, 30, 29. So it got us up to like 30 and then it backed off. So let's try pedal assist. In the meantime, we're gonna try pedal assist one. See how this works. Pedal assist one will take us up to about 
six miles an hour. And yeah, you can feel the weight of this bike, a little bit less than the weight of a Camaro, but pretty heavy for a bike. Plus this too, uh, on gear five now, going up to about 14 on here. And plus this three, feel a big bump in power. And yeah, we're already on gear seven going 20. And this is where we're gonna be for today. In general, compared to, well, let's just say, the Anioki AQ177 Pro, uh, I'd have to say this, Iahora Juliet feels nicer to me. We're gonna have to see how this motor holds up going up the Hollywood sign though, because that's where we saw the breakdown of the Anioki. And for that reason, uh, so many people are having trouble with the motor on the Anioki. Almost, it seems like I've, I've heard of like four or five people having that grinding motor failure basically on the Anioki. That controller, <laughs> I have no idea what that noise is. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, for that reason, I, I would probably choose the Juliet over the Anioki, given they're about the same price. For that reason alone. Not the gas scooter. <laughs> that thing looks sketchy. Oh, we got this. Look at the low rider here. He's got like hydraulics on that thing. Getting a little bit away from the ocean now. Man, I'm getting thirsty. I'm thinking about stopping here to get some water at McDonald's. It's freaking like 90 degrees out here today. Is there like a curbside pickup here or something? I feel like there's a decent chance we could run into a guy riding a green Saran around here. Or a green jacket on a Saran. Oh, dude, this car is not looking so hot. Thank you. <laughs> Getting this thing on Pelasys 4, man. We need to get back out here on the main road on these side road we are 12.3 miles in 45 minutes just a couple miles down the road here we have one of the nicest universities in the area get a little tour of usc look at this brick pattern man this this is a very beautiful campus a little music going on over here oh look at the church steeple all this green and blue this must be where the intelligent people hang out oh my goodness you all right dude Lost the drink. <laughs> oh man, your cell phone's covered in uh hopefully it's good. They're pretty waterproof these days, right? Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah. So, hey, there's our first signs of downtown. Oh man, stuff's getting rough. Oh, oh. All the tents down here under this underpass. So we got turn signals on this thing. Let's put them to use. Merge out here. Hey, let's go check out crypto.com arena. Look at these uh pieces of artwork. These statues are pretty cool. That one's pretty cool with the dude dunking. Wow, this area is really pretty. Oh, we got a protest or something. We gotta get on with the show, bro. What do we got here? 17 and a half miles, roughly. How much for a bottled water? Oh, it'd be nice if they had a little water bottle holder right here. Bro, I don't care what anybody says about hot weather. I love it. I prefer a hot day over a cold day. Well, I guess we'll be on. Turning around here. Oh shoot, man! I am on a one way, going the wrong way. Uber Eats. This is, this is an Uber Eats thing right here, man. Oh, that sounds nice. So I'm actually trying to find the uh, Fourth Street Bridge. This new bridge. We was what's happening over here, man? Not sure what's happening in the bike lane over there. Parking is being enforced though. Looks like there might have been some uh, people parked on the street. Oh, whoa. I guess I'll uh, take a left here, trying to get over to Fourth Street Bridge. But yeah, this is, uh, we were back at Skid Row for sure. I wasn't even trying to get over here, but I think you just gotta kind of pass through this area in order to get over to the Fourth Street Bridge. Oh, dude, I, that dude definitely just spit and it definitely just got on me. I hope it didn't get on the lens though. I don't want to block your guys' view right through here. There's some bikes. I wonder if any of those are for sale. Yeah, more bikes over there. Sounds like a club in there. Is that still gonna stop? Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, Fifth Street. Uh, there's a fire hydrant. Just spraying water here. And there's a bar of soap here. Um, I think I see what's going on here. Oh geez, this guy does not appear to be paying attention. Oh my goodness. 
here is a bike galore. Holy crap, dude. All right, we're cooking, man. This is a total wrong bridge. I have no idea where this is leading to. Yeah, dude, I messed up. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any way at all that we're gonna be getting on that bridge from here. All right, dudes, half my problem was I think I was just looking for the wrong road the entire time. This is the 6th Street Bridge, I believe. Oh, it's got a bike lane and everything over here. This dude's climbing this pole. What in the world is this guy doing? All right, here we are. I've never been here. This is actually pretty cool. I feel like it's just calling for me to like, ride up one of those ramps is this a bike lane what what is this oh my god dude that's so much glass oh, there's some sort of like photo shoot going on here something we'll uh, squeeze on through here violators will be prosecuted but um it's kind of cool what is that it looks like bubble gum so they definitely put on some rails here to prevent anybody from trying anything crazy on two wheels a uh, little range update for you guys we are just about to cross over 25 miles right about now <laughs> And still showing five out of five bars on there. And there's like a little loop-de-loop -loop thing here. I really just want to... There's some people down here. Squeeze on through here. Thank you guys. I can see the Hollywood sign out there. Way off in the distance. You guys probably can't even see it on camera, but it's like behind that white uh, mirror thing. Oh, shoot. I don't know where she's going. Spinning in circles, bro. So I've been riding with the seat on like minimum height basically all day for like... This sort of comfort with a handlebar relation. I'm gonna try it a little bit higher. You know, this is actually a little more comfortable, but it does put me a little more forward on the handlebars, which uh, I'm finding I'm like actually pedaling for the first time 27 miles into this ride. That's pretty cool. Kind of tempting to ride through there. Beautiful little area here. Romeo and Juliet, no kidding. We're on the Juliet, the Romeo and the Juliet. Is this a joke? Is this for real right now? <laughs> So just for the record, we are at 2 hours, 28 miles, and it says 5 bars. Oh, wow, that guy's just like shaking that sign. Now he's throwing his shoe. So talk about the pedal assist lag. Not pedaling. Pedaling. Power. So about a half turn of the uh, crank. So when you're moving faster or have it on a lower gear, there will be less lag. It's just about... Yeah, about a half turn of the crank. Bro is still throwing his shoe up here, it appears. But now that I raised this seat up to comment a little bit more on the uh, riding position versus the uh, Romeo, I got the Juliet, like I mentioned before, because you can adjust the seat of the height, the, the height of the seat. And I think that's coming in handy now, man. And we're still cooking, man. 27, 28 miles an hour. Not taking it easy on this thing. So here we are at the base of the Hollywood sign. Uh, not the base, but the bottom. We're gonna do this hill climb. And we have five bars right now. We are 36 miles into this ride. Two hours and 37 minutes. I believe the elevation gain is about 1,000 feet from here to the Hollywood sign. Rolling along, pedal assist three, no pedaling. Okay, here's where it gets steep, and this is what killed the Antioki motor. So we're gonna... Uh, start pedaling a little bit just like we did with Antioki because, well, downshift some gears. It gets really, really steep right here. Gear one. Uh, it's giving me 20 amps, 20 amps of current. Um, I'm gonna let off the throttle and just kind of pedal on pedal assist three. So it's showing 20 amps, 20 amps. And I'm starting to put in a decent amount of effort here because this hill is a killer literally the antioki motor killing hill and when i say killer uh the motor actually didn't die i i completed you know the motor started making this uh grinding noise oh my god which i, I guess that's from a loose magnet they did send me a replacement um but the motor still did keep working for like the rest of that ride and it never stopped working but i guess once it starts making that grinding noise it's kind of an indicator i'm gonna pump it up to pedal assist five now um I, oh shoot this thing is really just not nimble enough oh shoot all right i'm gonna have to get off for a second here all right let's see if I, and all right now this is where we had serious problems with the anti motor we'll push off in full throttle pedal 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 Pedal, pedal, pedal. This one feels like it's doing it better than the Antioki, honestly. I, 
It doesn't, yeah, it's giving me like 14 amps. So like this one kind of limits the current, which is a good thing in terms of preserving your motor. Um, and this was, this is where the Anioki motor started giving out. Pedal assist five. Yeah, I can see it says um, 14 amps there. Is that amps? This one's doing better so far. Full throttle. <laughs> uh, 23 amps, 22 amps, 23 amps. So you, what you do is you multiply the current voltage of the battery times the amps. It should be around, I would guess, 52, 51 volts times 23 amps for the power. You know, ballpark, a thousand watts. Last chance water, $2 cash. Thirsty, man. Oh, there we go. Ugh, come on. This is like the steepest of the steepest of all the steepness. I'm, I'm pedaling here. No question about it. Full throttle pedaling. Just, we can just barely make this hill, man. Whew. Made it. And we were just down there in downtown Los Angeles not too long ago. Little range update for you. We're at 38 miles. Uh, going on 10 minutes shy of three hours. To, oh no, battery says four out of five. You probably can't even see that. And you know what? I'm actually curious what their idea of four out of five is. So what better place to do a voltage measurement than at the top of the Hollywood sign? 49.6. I'd say that's a little lower than four out of five. It's like what, 60% roughly? And then after pulling the battery out and putting it back in, it says five out of five bars. A little optimistic. Regardless, I do think the Speed of Horror Julia is killing it. And if you guys do want to grab one of these, if you buy through the link below this video in the description box, that would help support my reviews. And it's also a discount code for you guys. So it's a win-win situation. Now for the next couple miles, we'll get to see if these hydraulic brakes are actually capable of dissipating all the heat from this 116 pound bike. Is that how much it weighed? Yeehaw, man, a lot of faith in these hydraulic levers. Man, just the weight of these big 25 pound, 60 amp hour batteries. You can just feel it's like a train coming down these hills. Yeehaw! Oh my God, dude. So much mass, so much momentum. I feel good, man. Hitting Hollywood Boulevard. You can see some of the stars. Let's pop up in here and see what's happening out here. I got a neat bike out here. Oh, music going on. Oh, no, thanks, man. My hands are cool. I'm gonna dart on down to Santa Monica. I'll catch you there. Actually, excuse me for a moment. I have to use the toilet. Dude, this little robot, I swear I just saw blink. Blink. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I cheat? Get a little extra range here? Grab onto the bus? Beverly Hills. Right, dude's rolling up on four hours of ride time. 54.2 miles here in Santa Monica, back by the ocean. And this thing is still shoving four out of five bars, which is ridiculous. And we're just rolling up on the end of the bike path on the north end up here by Santa Monica, Malibu. We're rolling up on about 60 miles. I feel like we could probably get 100 miles out of this battery. Dude, there goes a Kia or a holding bike right up there. Just rolling back into the neighborhood here. 70.45 miles, five hours and four minutes of ride time. Average speed, almost 14 miles an hour. This thing still showing three out of five bars. We need a voltage readout, so let's get inside and check that. All right, just getting inside three out of five battery bars. Literally all of my GoPro batteries, including the one in this camera died. So I'm using my cell phone, which has 8% life left. 47.3 volts. Dang, that's like a little bit under 50%. Wow, this has a lot more juice left in it. Typically a 48 volt battery dies around 42 volts. That's what I saw last time. So that's like five more volts, man. That, that's uh, significant. Hey dudes, it's the next day here and we are at 47.3 volts still. Actually, it's two days later. 
Let's get this battery back on there. You can go ahead and ignore this, this bike back here. And over here on the MacBook, it looks like the last time I did this, at mile 70 on day two when I started, I had 45.7 volts and I made it to 42.3 volts at about mile 89 or 90 where the bike completely died. That was a 60 amp hour battery pack, just like this one. Uh, we're starting at a little higher voltage today. We might be able to actually make a hundred miles. And the official distance of the first segment of this ride was 71.3 miles. Moving time, five hours, eight minutes. So all we gotta do today is technically 28.7 miles to hit 100 miles, three out of five bars. And here we are back off to the race. There's a little bit of a roll out here on the hill. What's going on up here, dude? Uh, apparently this is closed and there's a stretcher on a jet ski. Might be a deceased individual down here. Do you know what happened? What's happening over there? Everybody's trying to figure out a way around here. We're just gonna take the road, man. The wee woos are out. Just passing under LAX here, still running on two bars. It looks like we're pulling about seven amps of current to maintain 18 miles an hour, not pedaling at all. Check it out. Somebody's got a fat tire e-bike down there cruising on the ocean. And just crossing over mile nine on part two, which would put us at about 80 miles total right now. <laughs> That's like, that's not serious. Papa wheelie, bruh. Dude, imagine what it would be like having this right here as your backyard. I would even take that one. Papa day out here, man. Welcome to Hermosa Beach. Only a mile number 11, so we still have, what's happening up there? We still have uh, quite a bit more to go here to hit 100. I think I'm gonna turn around when I hit one bar remaining. So rolling up on mile number 19 here, which I believe would put us at just about 90 miles for this total ride. They said they found a body. So they found a body? Yeah, when I was coming this way earlier. Well, dudes, here we are rolling up on mile number 27, which makes for 100 total miles on this bike, um, on this one charge. And we are still at two out of five battery bars. What the heck, man? I am getting bored riding this thing. I think I'm gonna crank it up a little bit and just uh, burn this battery out on Pelsis 4. Dude, honestly, I thought this battery would have been done a long time ago. I'm getting off this thing to put on a sweatshirt because I didn't know I was gonna be out here for such a long ride. Much better. Now let's kill this battery. Show me one bar, come on, dude. 102! Look who found me. How's it going? Excellent, I'm on mile 102. It finally hit one bar. Let's throw it on five. See what it's got left in it. 25, 26, 27, 28. So if you guys are looking for a 60 amp hour battery pack that'll get you over 100 miles of range, I'd highly recommend the Iahora Juliet. Click the link below this video. Buy this electric bike. Use my discount code. It'll save you money and also help support my reviews. Check it out. It's showing 101.8 miles on the dash there. Dude, this thing just won't die. 105 miles. I've never wanted an e-bike battery to die so badly. I just want to get off this bike, man. Dude, this doesn't even make sense. 110 miles. I think it's finally starting to poop out on me, man. It's flashing zeros. And we are at 110.4. And on today's ride, 39.35. It's still got a little bit left in it. Let's see where it'll take us to. That'd be, yeah, exactly 110 miles until it's, it's flashing zeros. It's ripping pedal assist five, full throttle, dude. I have legit pedaled this bike like basically nothing. Wait, does back pedaling count? <laughs> yeah, full throttle, the current, the current is just dropping, man. Death to you, Juliet. <laughs> we'll get you back on the charger. Uh, final number here, uh, 40 miles. That's about it, dude. That's about it. Buy yourself an Iahora Juliet. Click the link below. Use my discount code. Support my reviews. 111.8 miles according to the Iahora display. Because don't forget, part one was 71.31 miles, five hours and eight minutes, average speed of 14 miles an hour about, and an elevation gain of 2,300 feet. Part two here was Average speed of 15.2 miles per hour, two hours and 40 minutes, and 40.68 miles. And technically, this thing is not dead.